Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Skipit and we have a totally new series. Let me tell you what this is about and uh, if you are interested, please do listen because it will be very interactive series, different than what I've done before. But you can skip it, uh, you have the timestamps on the video and you can skip it to next places if you really want to. But trust me, what I'm about to say, it will be super, super interesting. On this huge map, I want to create different places, villages, towns and maybe even one city. But everything will be influenced by you. We will all like almost decide what type of uh, builds we will have, uh, what type of a theme for instance, it will be based on Europe, but I'm not going to base it on a particular country so we can do a let's say combination between few countries either for the same village or town we can add like five type of buildings in one town but the developing will be done together with you so the main characters will be my patrons that of course want to uh, be part of this all my existing patrons and future patrons will be able to create a fictive company and a fictive business with these businesses they will be able to gain like uh, income and outcomes and they can at a point between all of you can actually interact and do different type of businesses in between but everything will be done step by step and then there is you guys the viewers you can either enjoy this simply like a normal series and see the stories behind or everything is happening how things change or also you can take part of it and you can take part of this by leaving comments influencing people on, on what to do what to buy how to do it and so on or you can help by uh, voting when it's necessary for instance uh, my patrons not only can create businesses and companies but also they can participate to the local elections for these villages and towns so they can be the mayor for eight episodes uh, in total like four years in the game let's call it even though it would be more than that now as i mentioned earlier i created the website for my yellow hill series here you can find absolutely all necessary information about yellow hill the series what you can do what how you can become a mayor an investor how can you have a company uh, there are some stats about the existing companies and all the companies will be added here and there will be a long list probably uh, Also the companies logos and whatnot. You can even click on them and see exactly um, extra information Then you have the business page uh, Here where you can down from where you can download this Excel file Which is full of businesses and everything is needed can be found there and also some extra information some some stuff about how you can create uh, builds and buildings or businesses and so on the influence factors for all location they will be uh, updated here in time now we have only for Ternat. and uh, the last page is about uh, the about <laughs> is about page where you can you, you find anything that you need it's almost like a frequent uh, frequent uh, asked uh, questions but well more or less let's say i covered most of them also uh, things that can be found here but in order to fulfill all this information you have to join my um, discord server as well because we have some special channels therefore only for yellow hill where patrons and you guys the viewers can take part discuss and we can make a big big uh, crazy thing but let's not keep this uh, let's keep this outside politics right now i think it's time to talk about ternat let me do a presentation a very small presentation from my website where you can always find these updated so at this very moment ternat village has the mayor uh, a french name here rafael allard the population is 1100 people jobs 300 these are based actually for from the in-game from actually in game uh, sometimes it's more sometimes it's less so once per week or once per episode actually i'm gonna update these uh these numbers the style is french and at this very moment the actual budget per year is 291 the influence factor is 0 0.5 and the income factor is 0 0.8 
here as complaints we have the people wants to wants this uh, fortress to be open again uh, this is a, an old market which wants to be destroyed by the actual uh, mayor and he wants to create a new one a complete new one people are against it uh, there are not too many businesses so there are only a few jobs here uh, they want more residential uh, areas they want uh, this village to grow they wish they have a football team and they want a firefight station because at this very moment and i'm gonna show this if you scroll down here we have more information do we like do we have a bus no train station yes garbage collector no not available water not available power not road maintenance not firefight station not available so that's why people want to have a firefight station closed because as you can see here down below the firefight protection is being paid so th there is an external firefight station that comes here and they are being paid 220 skibbles per year and people want to have in this inside the village you know for their own protection uh, for their safetyness and so on uh, let's have a look which is the yearly income so from the political party we get 400 skibbles per year this is standard for Ternat only in different uh, no matter what if the mayor will be the same or someone else the political party will always pay the same for Ternat for different villages and cities well there is a different story the local taxes are 140,000 140, skibbles per year which are coming, as you can see, 100 skibbles per uh, tax per person per year, and it's the same tax per worker per year. So we have 1,100 people and 300 uh, jobs, so in total 140. If you multiply it, you'll get these uh, uh, numbers. From tourism, we get only 30,000 skibbles per year. If you look here on the map at the legend, we have landmarks. As I said, the fortress is closed. Ternat Philip House, it's open, the water tower is open, and Ternat Gate is open. So we have only three uh, touristic places which only generates 30,000 skibbles per year. At the expenses, well, here it's a different story and uh, it seems that Ternat Mayor pays for everything, for water, electricity, garbage collection, road maintenance and firefight protection. Imagine having all these built inside the village. So, a big hint, the next mayor should have a closer look to this and to the people com complaints. The elections will come in episode far, 4, but in order to participate at the election, you need to have one influence, at least. Now, scrolling down here, we have more information. You can have, you see pictures with all the monuments, landmarks the uh, public uh, places uh, like the village hall and also you guys can have an uh, add this extra uh, information here you can submit you if you have you know what if you feel you are you have inspiration giving like a few sentences only not more uh, as a description for everything you see in these pictures you can submit them on my discord and i will post them here if i uh, do like them so scrolling down will also help a lot. The village has five entrances in total at this moment. And the main one is right next to the uh, highway exit. Actually, the highway exit is right into the entrance in the village. Uh, exactly where the water tower is and also the town hall. The second uh, entrance in the village is through the main gate actually this should have been the first and main entrance in the village it was long time ago but now not anymore and this gate was built by Ternat Philip a very big architect and uh, that's why the entire village now wears its name the third entrance is coming from the uh, spore fields or from the direction from the other um, close nearby town named Ber Bergburg the one that can be reached by the train as well the fourth entrance is right across the bridge coming from uh, the future city that we will have which will be very close as well and also is from the direction where the fourth village is and the last entrance is coming from uh, from the woods and uh, this road eventually it will lead somewhere but for now we don't know for sure 
and uh, yeah this is a simple uh, other entrance now let's see the general map for Ternat as you can see here we have like futuristic places we have the train station and few public places like old market church and uh, the city hall well the village hall but let's start with the train station the one marked with green color uh, the train station in Ternat here has two platforms but only one of them is functioning and there is only one train that stops here and takes people to the uh, closest town Bertburg. Now let's go to the touristic sites we have in Ternat. We have a close fortress, we have the Ternat Philip uh, Memorial House, the Water Tower and the Ternat Gate. The closed fortress, well it's an old fortress and for more than 10 years already it was not well maintained and now there are rocks that are falling down and uh, they are very dangerous for people so that's why it is closed for more than 10 years so maybe the ma next mayor or a mayor will care about uh, it and will invest money to give another look or find some uh, sponsors who knows we shall see to make um, this place an alive again and full of tourists uh, this will bring a lot of money to the local uh, budget now let's talk about Ternat gate as you as i told you earlier Ternat philip was an, a big architect that created this beautiful gate and left it for the city as a part of the history long time ago this gate can be visited by people and also Ternat Philip has a memorial house because he's not alive anymore of course and the mayor wanted to transform this into a museum and now lots of other tourists are coming to visit the um, memorial house and also the get Ternat gate and the last thing that can be um, visited is the water tower that long long time ago was providing water for people in the village not anymore but uh, the mayor just wanted to renovate it and give it a chance so people can actually visit and have a nice sight viewing from the top of uh, the uh, tower there now let's have a look at the public places uh, the village hall the old market and the church and school the village hall uh, it's situated right next to the main entrance the one that comes from the highway and it's uh, right at the entrance there it's on top well it has a really good sightseeing from for sure from up there and there is where the mayor stays and you know do his job then uh, let's have a look at the church and school the, there is no school in this village but the church is qu quite big and for such long time yeah, the church also used a part of its um, building to serve as a school for uh, the few pe a few children living in uh, the village every uh, year um, who knows maybe in the future uh, the, a mayor will invest some money creating or building a new school and the old market uh, which is a very old one it's uh, it has more than 100 years but the actual and uh, the current mayor wants to destroy it and not renovate it anymore and because he wants to build a new market a more modern one instead of giving this back to people and have another historical place in the village uh, let's hope that the next mayor um, will fix this problem and uh, save the market now let's have a look at the business map to see what's for sale and what can be done for now in uh, the village marked with the air, air letter is the places where you can of course buy the land and build your own residential area so air stands for residential there are seven areas in total that are being sold the, their prices might be different even though some of them are smaller some are bigger uh, some of them are right next to the river which means you know more expensive some of them are right next to the uh, village hall and also the price is quite good then we have the ones marked with B letter what that means B it stands for building so there are like four buildings that are being uh, sold right now where you can uh, create or open a new business like a restaurant pharmacy something very small or a terrace 
it's uh, up to you guys for those who want to invest then we have the abandoned factory here of course you'll have to buy the land together with these old buildings which have to be destroyed and you have to replace them or build something else instead you can make another factory or whatever you want it's up to you uh, the mayor has no intention uh, of giving a perspective let's say for this uh, particular uh, area and in the end we have the ones marked with the s letter s1 2 and 3 these are uh, for sale but you have to check with the mayor before building something so if you want to build a residential uh, area there then you have to ask the mayor if uh, he agrees on that or if you want to build something else as, as well have to be checked always with the mayor don't forget to join the discord for this now let's have a closer look at the village itself if you do remember earlier i was saying that i'm going to play the game by the book so this is the Ternat village and at this very moment we have 11 uh, 44 people living here so it's more than what i um, had before and 327 but as i said these will be updated every single time before uh, i will post a new uh, video a new episode i will always do this so it will be around once per week uh, there are lots of uh, places um, uh, to s for sale and if uh, if we go down to the ground level if you, I have these small signs like for sale uh, for each of these uh, uh, lands or for businesses for building themselves and so on uh, same for these ones down below there so <clears throat> what is also very important for you guys to know is that actually you can you can uh, you can show me a screenshot from my video or you can ask me hey i want to buy a land i don't know over here or somewhere uh, somewhere else just ask uh, and this can be discussed with the mayor so called mayor for now it's me uh, on my discord channel in the ternat village uh, in the ternat channel sorry um, and we we shall see if we can we can have that but let's have a look now from a closer perspective in the village um, so uh, what we have here this is something uh, there is a spot here for sale so this is one uh, one of the spots for sale is called B1 then on the main street we have the train station that I showed you earlier I was telling you about uh, here we have the police station it's a very small building maybe in the future we will have a better and bigger one I don't know if it's necessary or not uh, then here is a little orchard and this road takes you from the main gate from the main entrance takes you up here on the hill where this old uh, fortress is um, then there is a secondary uh, secondary street over here and another one here that goes around this memorial house uh, of uh, philip ternat uh, this one and then we have this long building i haven't thought of what this is uh, yet but let's leave it there uh, things will pop up and be updated during time this is the um, <clears throat> the, uh, the market that wants to be destroyed by the actual mayor it, now it's surrounded with a fence there so no one can get inside there they, uh, he wants to just destroy it and build a newer one a more modern one even though this one is 100 years old and it's pity not to be kept there so let's let's save that uh, here is the abandoned uh, factory and these people here well they moved uh, all these houses are more uh, more let's say more than not that nice when it comes to architecture uh, but they were added here when there was like uh, almost 500 let's say or 300 or god knows how many uh, jobs available at the factory here now it's closed we shall see maybe someone else will uh, <coughs> will buy and invest here uh, building a totally new business a new factory or you can dismantle it and do anything else um, as extra there is only one sport field here with few uh, tennis courts few of them here too but people uh, don't have anything to do in this um, village not even a proper park yeah it's full of uh, forests uh, probably eventually when uh, things will be built here they will be uh, 
tear down uh, and all these uh, trees being cut down and uh, maybe someone will want to create here a lumber mill to provide uh, wood because there will be some businesses that will actually require wood um, so yeah things ha you guys have to think really nice uh, and uh, thoroughly at, at these kind of things here we have a nice statue uh, uh, in this little roundabout that comes from there I've, actually if you ask me this is the beautiful part of the village right across this uh, rail yard and we shall see but I believe in the next episode the, the mayor has an idea and wants to um, add an extra road to link it with this main road from here because otherwise people will have to come from this big roundabout um, and go down like that and then do a very big big um, over uh how should i say this um you know overturn i don't know how to call it to to get on this area so it would be better and smarter to have um a road connected to this one maybe even a road from this side going under the bridge and then being linked here we shall see we can talk about this uh, in the next episode it will be proposed so uh maybe the mayor will look for a new company yeah that can uh, actually build uh, this uh, we need a, com a construction company to build roads and they will be of course paid <clears throat> okay good um what else um okay outside the village here we have some extra um uh, extra businesses uh, or yeah places to be build businesses and I have a land here to sell and few other here uh, they are perfectly to uh, cut down some trees and here these are perfect for farming only and uh, it would be pity not to be uh, to have farms on these uh, areas we shall see uh, we already have one two three lands with so we, there is a big farm here already uh, this is not for sale at least not yet uh, but there is plenty of space around it to build your own farms or you know maybe different uh, businesses it doesn't actually matter uh, during time as I said there will be a development of um, of all these uh, areas around here to link them and have more 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 businesses well guys thank you very much for watching this uh, if you did enjoy it don't forget to hit the like button subscribe uh, to my channel leave some comments and of course join my discord to have a lot of talk uh, a lot of talk about uh, this new series and what how things will develop in time and if you are really interested uh, to become a patron don't uh, hesitate uh, to invest in yellow hill till next time guys take care of yourselves and i salute you <laughs>